Hi everyone, this is Jason Birak of Wall Street for Main Street, and I'm here to check today to see if your investment portfolio has enough high-grade iron ore in its diet. High-grade iron ore is the main ingredient in steel and stainless steel. Without steel, the world would literally stop. Steel is used in cars, in buildings, in pretty much everything. Everything industrial, everything commercial, and even houses. But, the reason I'm here to talk about iron ore is that there's really only three companies to invest in. Did you know that only three companies control 70% of the entire world's high-grade iron ore production? Those three companies are BHP Billiton, Rio Tinto, and Vale out of Brazil. They basically have a legalized oligopoly on iron ore production. There are also smaller iron ore pure plays of companies that have just started production and those companies are not as diversified as some of those other companies I just mentioned are. Those other companies tend to be more exposed to other base metals such as copper and molybdenum and other stuff. Also, in the last few weeks, the rule changes for iron ore prices have gone into effect. Up until the last few weeks, in the past, iron ore prices had only been negotiated once a year. This is not accurate for good supply-demand fundamentals, and this was hurting producers' money because they would be signing a contract and demand would go up and supply and price would not. So, in the last few weeks, the, price has been the pricing rules have been changed where price is now renegotiated every three months. Because of this, supply-demand fundamentals will now be more accurate more based on spot prices, and this should definitely help high-grade iron ore producers. In fact, in the last few weeks alone, since the rules changes, the high-grade iron ore price has literally about doubled. So, if you don't have high-grade iron ore exposure, you definitely should. I would start looking at BHP Billiton, Rio Tinto, and Vale. And if you want to take more risk, you should take a look for the other smaller miners around the globe. Thanks, everyone.